Yes, yes, I can hear you. She was saying before. Okay, what is that? Six little forest bats, LFBs. Yes. Height at release, please. So she wants them at height at release as well. I'm just giving that some light because this is not brilliant lighting here. Yeah. Um, Do you want this on? Yeah, we can put as many lights on as possible. But I try not to spotlight them. And then I'm going to go and get my ladder as soon as we fed them. Hello, sweetheart. And so I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to move them to a different pouch as soon as I fed them. Mm. So, hello. Mm -hmm. These were babies. <laughs> hello. <laughs> hello. And so I'm just crushing the heads just so that they don't bite the baby. Hey. Hey. You can eat it or not. I mean, really? And I'm just squeezing out some goop at them. Mealworm goop. Is this not a good enough mealworm for you, sweetheart? <laughs> Look at their little buffy little faces. Like little teddy bears. Here. <laughs> Open your mouth and let me just put it in. You've had a very stressful day. I get that, sweetheart. I can hear you. I can hear you. <laughs> That's the head in there. It's just the mealworms can bite them. Ah. And so, and they've got very thin membrane okay you don't want to do it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put you in that one there because you don't want to feed and we're going to come back to you okay so that's the reject pile at the moment mm. sweetheart now you can do this okay come on. hold on to me gently darling Let's calm down. You've had a, a busy trip. Come on, darling. Come on. Come on, sweetheart. Come on, darling. Okay. Why aren't any of them taking the mealworms? They need to be on a silver platter. <laughs> Come on, darling. Yeah. Okay. All right, you've got your mouth open. Here we are. They might need some fluids, so I might have to inject them with some fluids. Oh, okay. Okay, that's three that are not really interested. Look, actually, they're a bit cold, I think. I might have to do it, warm them up, and then do it in half an hour. Hey, gorgeous. Okay, I'll call Heather before we just go through all of them. Yeah. It's easier to go straight for the um, viscera. Um, okay, well, just squish like it out and let them lick yeah. it. Okay, because they're really not interested. Yeah. The three that I've done, I've separated them out and they're not interested. They just kind of it look at me as if to say, what the f are you trying to do to me? Yeah, it may just be really, it's a weird night. and we've, you know, what They've been travelling all but... day. They've been in the car all day. Yeah. Okay, so, so give, them, give them, them half an hour, warm them up a bit. Yeah, but I mean, forests will sit on 38 degrees at the best of time. Like, yes, so okay, they well, do like I had them acclimatising. Even going into the cold. Hmm? Yeah. Okay, I'll give yeah, them half an hour inside, inside warming up, yeah. and then we'll do yeah. it from there, okay? And then I'll see if they'll feed them. 
Okay, I'll give you a call back if they don't. Thank you. Okay, working on it. Bye. Okay, let's try you three again. Yeah, well, I mean, you were the ones that wouldn't eat, right? How are you complaining to me? Oh, look, mouth is open. Oh, oh, look, so they were just a bit cold, I think. Okay, she said pull the heads off. Okay, we've pulled a head off. Viscera. You like the goopy stuff. Because really, I can't release you unless you're going to be interested. Come on, darling. This is a very long day. Do not make me have spent all day driving you here for this not to happen. Okay, come on. I'm squeezing the goop out now. Well, that was a, I'm eating it. I mean, you've had a very stressful day. I get that, sweetheart. Look, do you want to go? Eat something so we can let you go. Come on. This is not my area of expertise, by the way. Usually they just gobble them. But these are little forest bats oh. and they have a mind of their own. <laughs> They're like little buffy little teddy bears. Okay, you bite me and I'll bite you back, by the way, and I'm bigger than you are. <laughs> Aren't you going to gobble them? Give you the list of virus. What? I'll give you the list of virus. <laughs> no, but the thing is, they don't all have list of virus. Fewer than 1% of the population are infected. Mm -hmm. So that means you don't know which ones are infected. Come on. You need to actually eat something. And really, you're not doing a great job. There we are. Okay, good. That's like you're eating something. One minute. Mm -hmm. So this is, um, because it's little, it's one of the babies. And because there's an adult or two in there that know this area, they will go with them. They'll just call out to them after they start to fly off. So I'll try and release an adult first. Oh, and so they'll just follow them. They'll just follow, yeah. They'll all talk to each other and go, yeah, yeah, it's all right. This is where we're supposed to be. This is home, everybody. <laughs> Back in the cold. And so do they just talk the same languages? They talk, the they talk languages, yeah. They talk dialects as well. And they've got little family languages. They probably understand all the local ones. In, of the families and the groups around them. Do and they all have such a big nose? Um, they all have different noses. Here. They have different noses because they have different prey and they need to be able to echolocate. Where did it go? There it is. Stop squirming out. And do they echolocate from their noses? And then they hear it in their complex ears. Mm -hmm. See, their ears have got little ridges and extra bits and their noses have got extra bits so they can make the sound so that they can find their actual prey, the prey that is right for them. This is the mm -hmm. head end. Right. Here we are. How often do they eat? Um, at night. Whatever they can find. Like every night? Yes, they fly out every night. Mm -hmm. Right. So... They can find flying prey because they can echolocate it and their noses and ears are completely adapted for how their prey, how they will hunt their prey and the prey that they will hunt. So we don't want them to be full when we release them. We want them to have had something to eat. So why but do you feed them before? We want them to, to not, if they're not able to find enough tonight, we want them to be preloaded oh. because 
you know, they're back after a few months. You know, it might be just a bit of a difficult adjustment. Like if I was in hospital for three months, even if I did some exercise around the corridor, when I got home, I would probably not be up to, you know, like a 10 kilometre walk. Did you just, did you just shake your head, sweetheart? One more? One more? There we are. There we are, my gorgeous. Um, eating parts and, oh, look, okay, look at that. That one. They just like the viscera. That's why they like living in our house. Mm. <laughs> because it's warm up when they're all there together and all huddled up together. Yeah, that makes sense. Please eat this, sweetheart. Hey. I know, but you know, really? Now, all these mealworms have been gut loaded, and that means that they've had special food, so they're more nutritious. So, what they've eaten makes them more nutritious vitamins, minerals, and all that sort of stuff, so that they're good food, otherwise they're just fat. Okay. Right. You just sit there for a bit. I'm going to put you in the we're going pouch. Mm -hmm. It's four and you had a little bit before. Okay. And I'm just going to ring Heather just to make sure. Hello. How's it going? Okay. Um, how many mealworms each? About five? As much as they want, but yeah, five would be plenty. Okay, well, I've got one, four down one of them. They were just a bit cold, I think. Okay, yeah, they, um, forests love worms. Okay, tough. well, I just thought I'd acclimatise them to outside, because that's where they're going. Yeah, no, 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 they'll, okay. they'll go, yeah, work out that it's freaking cold, and then go and find themselves somewhere warm fast. Okay, so I'll feed them four or five each, and then I can let them go. Absolutely. The free tail, how many? Um, again, if he may, may take up to Two. about eight or so, but okay. four or five, then that's, that's fine. You're not trying to feed up completely. You're no, just taking we're off. just making sure they don't starve tonight. Yeah. Right, okay. Yep. Oh, good, I will let you know. Yeah, cheers. They swear at you. Can't you hear him carrying on? Yes. Hear him, her, her. No penis. <laughs> and she's going, why are you, slave, why are you holding me and where is my dinner? Sounds like a cat. Clearly you have cats that own you. Yeah. I mean, cats, they just, you just kind of live with them. Well... No, you serve them. Oh, no, yes. she serves them. You yeah, serve I them. serve them. They won't you even serve wake them. me up in the morning. They'll wake her up at the crack of dawn for food. Yes, when I know. Well, I wouldn't have a cat because and I'm not a slave to anyone. Yeah, well, okay, so they were just a bit cold. That's why they wouldn't eat. And they'll do fine with the cold weather tonight? Yes, because this is how they're supposed to be, mm -hmm. you know. They're little forest bats. And they just cuddle up to each other to get warm. Yes, they do. And their little tiny roosts will also have the humidity that they like mm -hmm. because they've chosen it for that. Now, I'll give you the links for bat boxes. Oh, yes. So we can work, up, work on that. Are we up to that's three, I think? Mm -hmm. I know. I heard you. You're hungry. Yeah. There we are. Perfect, sweetheart. Stop complaining, the rest of you. We're almost out. Squishing more viscera. Hey. 
Look at that, isn't that gorgeous? Watching them take this huge slurpy bit of spaghetti. <laughs> But the tail is different. See, it's got a tail that comes out rather than the membrane going and surrounding to the tip of the tail. So this is the free tail. Would you like something to eat, sweetheart? Please don't tell me you're not going to eat. Show, you, show us your bits, girly. And so she's actually eating all the mealworm. And she'll open her mouth for the next one. You're going to wait until that one's right in. And don't bite me because my finger is not mealworm. So she was the one that was a different species in the colony. And the reason as an adult that she ended up on the ground was because they can't fly from the ground. Um, and so she was just kind of stranded. So she ended up with the babies. And, uh, now, isn't that exciting? Mm. Now, are you scared anymore, V? Maybe. <laughs> oh, well, you wouldn't fun. want to touch them, but you're fascinated by the whole thing. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah. Okay.